After far-right activists burnt a copy of the Koran under police protection in front of the Turkish embassy in Stockholm on Saturday, President Erdogan reacted on Monday, saying that's it for Turkey ratifying Swedish membership to NATO. Do not expect such support from us. The fact that this despicable attack on the Holy Quran took place in front of the Turkish embassy makes the issue both a national and religious matter for us. The act has triggered protests in Jordan, Yemen and Iraq. Erdogan immediately said no when Sweden applied to join NATO last May, and attempts at salvaging relations just enough now seem dead in the water as Ankara cancels the Swedish defence minister's visit and uninvites the Speaker of the House. The Swedish PM's response to the act was limited to a tweet, defending freedom of speech, but conceding that what is legal is not necessarily appropriate, calling the act deeply respectful and expressing sympathy with those it offended. Turkey's main objection to Sweden's accession to NATO up until now is perceived Swedish sympathy with the Kurdish Workers' Party, classed as a terrorist organisation by Turkey, the EU and the US. Sweden has taken steps to assuage these concerns, including by signing a memorandum calling the group a terrorist organisation. But protests flying the PKK flag have continued to the ire of Ankara and effigies of President Erdogan are a recurring trope.